Uh, greetings everyone. I'm making a video about um, human consciousness and about uh, the traditional view uh, for human consciousness. And uh, traditionally um, in uh, Asia, um, people think that you know human consciousness is created uh, thanks to human body parts. I mean, uh, in general, in Buddhism, they teach that you know. Uh, seven chakra will move and these um, wheels, these chakras will create human consciousness. But uh, you know, uh, there is a different idea and um, I would like to talk about this um, different idea. I mean, when you are talking about the consciousness, you must put heart first, human heart. Um, human heart is uh, sometimes in sentence um, uh, uh, can be replaced by uh, human consciousness and mind. And uh, of course, uh, there is a you know uh, tendency to put blood before heart. I mean, uh, some people uh, think that uh, you know first you think about uh, the blood, then human heart, and um, here in Mongolia, heart is a symbol for courage and um, in order to say you know I love you you need heart why it is because you know you need some courage to say these words so um, heart uh, must be pumping a lot of blood in order to say these words and um, today I would like to talk about the, this um, you know symbols and um, about the design of these symbols these symbols share one thing, it is an endless knot. And today I would like to talk about the blood. Uh, blood creates heart. I mean, uh, you, you can say that this is a, your you know, bloodline, this is your desire, and this is your uh, snake. So, uh, you have this uh, thing and this thing. And you can also uh, create one circle using this, you know, thread. And, uh, you know, um, when you are talking about the blood, uh, you can talk about many, you know, racist things. Like, you know, um, when you are choosing, you know, men, so, some people like to choose, you know, um, you know their blood. I mean, uh, how to say... You know, people don't, you know, care about, you know, human heart, but uh, sometimes they um, care for, you know, blood. Like, um, if you are a nationalist, then you are uh, always be caring for your own kind, something like that. So, um, uh, you know, um, bl what is the symbol for blood? Uh, bl uh, blood is in, in uh, one of those mana stones, and it is uh, say that uh, you must, uh, you know, uh, guard uh, your blood will, something like that. Um, so, uh, in the case of a medicine, you can say that uh, there must not be any you know, poison in your blood, you must guard your blood. And if you use a lot of alcohol, if you use a lot of um, drugs, your blood can be polluted and uh, your uh, you know, next uh, you know, generation, the bloodline will be uh, poisoned and they will have some a mental or physical uh, you know, body problems. So uh, it, it is said, you know, blood must be uh, guarded safe from a poison. But you know, uh, some may say that you know, uh, blood is already you know this uh, snake, and uh, when uh, someone uh, you know cuts this snake, it means at the end of your days. So uh, you, um, I hope you you saw this. You know, sometimes there is an image of a snake eating its, um, you know, tail, and this uh, will create you know this uh, circle. And uh, there is you know, some uh, darker things about this symbol. These symbols are believed to be a very good, uh, you know, charm, and this will uh, save your life. Uh, this is created from when you know one this um, thread and when you uh, combine this thing and when you are doing like this you are creating you know the endless knot something like that so um, in this you know 
in this uh, planet, in this rock, we are eating, you know, each other. I mean, um, life eats, uh, um, you know, other life to exist. So this snake eats its tail, uh, and this snake creates this, you know, endless circle of life. This may sound like a Chinese yin yang, but um, it's a little bit, you know, uh, you you can use a different, you know, symbol for this. Uh, well, uh, that's pretty much for today, and thanks for watching.